So we're making some great progress on our user experience. Uh, one of the other areas of major focus and investment for us over the past year uh, has been to improve our analytic capabilities. And as I announced earlier, the result of this effort is a new analytics offering called Plex Insight. And I'm sure there's a lot of uh, interest in this topic in the Plex community. So uh, Carl, why don't you kick us off and uh, give us an overview of the exciting new offering? So Plex Insight is all about giving you a complete view of all the data that you need, whether that data is coming from your suppliers, whether it's generated from your shop floor, whether it's coming from your customers. It's important that all of that data is available to you to ensure better, smarter, faster decision making. Now, over the past year, you know, I've spent a lot of time talking with a lot of customers, and I, I hear the same feedback, right? That feedback is, Carl, Plex is great, really great at helping me run the shop floor. You need to be better at helping me run my business. You need to give me manufacturing intelligence. And that manifests itself in things like better multidimensional analysis, forecasting capabilities, profitability analysis, and so on. And so we've taken all of this input, really, and, and, and just crafted a, a set of tenets, if you will, with respect to what is Plex Insight. So it's based on three core tenets. One, analytics have to be intuitive, right? They have to be intuitive so that business users can easily create, manipulate new data sets based on always changing questions and always changing data sets. Analytics have to be fast, to be really fast. Not just fast in terms of runtime, it has to be fast in terms of your design time. Can I craft that report or that analytic quickly? And when I run it, it has to be instantaneous. I have to get immediate feedback. And analytics has to be holistic. Right? We need to be able to leverage data for both inside and outside the organization. Whether that data comes from your suppliers, whether it's coming from machines, from people, we need to get the data to you that matters to run your business. So what exactly is Plex Insight? Well, it's a suite of capabilities that will make it easier for you to manage the massive amounts of data that Plex is capturing and managing on your behalf each and every day. And it starts with the next gen IntelliPlex. We have organized the data better. We have created intuitive tools that are designed for business analysts. And we've leveraged columnar storage to create an environment that is lightning fast. We will leverage key metrics and dashboards integrated with workflow and an alert engine to support real-time visibility to out-of-college conditions and allow for faster time to resolution. We will be delivering analytic applications that are premised on first-class design principles with advanced visualization all designed to support your speed of analysis. And we will increasingly be adding benchmark information, right? Information that's derived from Plex data directly, but also that we can acquire from external sources. Well, it's all very exciting, Carl. All these big words and pretty pictures. <laughs> but I, I bet our audience would actually like to see the product in action. So today we're launching the next generation of IntelliPlex. It's built around the three tenets that Carl just talked about a few seconds ago. We want to make it easier for your business users to tap into their Plex data and share that insight across their organization. So imagine this scenario. We have a CFO who wants to compare revenue from uh, this quarter to last quarter, because he has a, a suspicion that something's not right. So we ask a report writer to build a quick report in IntelliPlex to compare um, revenue both from this quarter to last quarter and this year to last year to get a better sense of where we're at. So the report writer, in a moment. There we go. So the report writer goes into the new Plex UX, and he launches the next generation IntelliPlex. And from IntelliPlex, he's going to create a new chart. And from here, if, you're used to, if you've used IntelliPlex, you see we have a couple, different, uh, a couple additional folders here. One of them is the operational folder. All of the data sources and data structures that you know and love in current uh, IntelliPlex exist under the operational folder. But we also have the new analytical folder. This is where we have uh, uh, taken our data sources and organized them around functional areas, making them much easier to understand and much more accessible than before. 
So the report writer goes into the revenue uh, domain, and he's going to start building this report based on what the CFO wanted. And you can see here, here that he's using simple drag and drop to put the fields that he's interested in down on the template. He wants to look at revenue over quarter group, and he's going to filter on the fiscal year. We're going to look at uh, 2014, and we're going to look at 2015. And lastly, we're going to draw a fiscal year on the legend, and IntelliFlex generates a chart for us to look at. Now, when we take a look here, we can see that this year is actually doing better than last year, and this quarter is actually doing better than last quarter as well. Now, the CFO is wondering, oh, why this is the, the case? He didn't expect Q2 to be doing better than Q1. Now, he could ask his report writer to uh, continue to build out this report, but unfortunately, when the report writer saw how easy it was to build this report, he actually fainted. So he's not, he's not available. He really did work with me here. So uh, he's not available. So the CFO is like, what, what do I do next? So he steps over his unconscious report writer, and he goes and finds a business analyst. And he asked that business analyst, um, why is Q2 uh, working better than Q1? So the business analyst, who's not very familiar with data structures and BI terms like facts and dimensions, the, the business analyst instead goes into the new um, analytical applications. This is a new offering, also based on the IntelliPlex engine. And inside the analytical applications, we have a new self-service reporting tool. This is an easy-to-use uh, template built around those functional data sources that I showed you earlier. And you can see here at the top, we're using the, the revenue data source. Now, the business analyst can start to build the report simply by looking at uh, or selecting the fields and the metrics that he's interested in, uh, selecting the date range that he's interested in, the current year, giving that uh, report a title, and then running the report. And he gets a nice tabular report that shows him the information that he's looking at or interested in. Now, we could pour over this report and try to find a pattern in the numbers here, but um, the, the report writer says, you know what? I'm building this for an executive. Maybe I should make some pictures. <laughs> so fortunately, this is a... <laughs> fortunately, this is what we call um, a visual report. And the visual report has a number of... Uh, a, a significant amount of functionality built into the report that the business analyst doesn't have to do himself. You can see the little um, arrows at the top of each column. So the business analyst will simply um, select on the product group column, and with a few clicks, he builds a bar chart. And this bar chart shows us uh, that uh, product group two has had significant increase in revenue for quarter two. Well, this is interesting. Um, we actually have higher revenue based on product group two, but the CFO is still skeptical. I know it's a foreign concept, a skeptical <laughs> CFO. Um, but he wants to know more. Unfortunately, the business analyst has tickets for the Grand Ole Opry tonight, and he's unable to stay. He has to leave early. So the CFO has no one to order around. What's the CFO to do when he can't boss anyone around? Uh, most CFOs would be dead in the water. Fortunately, this CFO uses Plex. So he's going to go into the new um, executive dashboard, which is a high-level overview of the metrics that the CFO is interested in. And you can see here, uh, he's looking at his metrics. And uh, revenue looks pretty good. We've already established that. Expenses are OK, but he zeroes in on the gross profit. This is where his suspicions were, and he couldn't artic articulate. But now we can see gross profit is not in line with revenue. So taking a look at his dashboard here further, he says, oh, I see. The cost of goods sold has increased significantly in Q2. Looking further, he can see, oh, I have a, a new heat map chart here, and that tells me for product group two, I can easily see that my material costs have increased significantly. And now, based on that, the CFO has actionable insight. You know, what's going on? Is there a problem with our cost model? Has the supplier started to increase cost? He can actually hunt that down and figure out what's going on. So we can see that Plex Insight powers not only the report writer, but the business analyst and also the executive. It's all about getting the right information to the right person in the right context, helping them to quickly and easily make more informed decisions. So Jerry, uh, great job with the demo. Jerry always puts a little bit of humor in the demos as well. <laughs> as they say in the entertainment industry, Jerry will be here all week. <laughs> so thank you, Jerry. Um, So the analytic products look great, and uh, again, I know everyone will be excited to get their hands on those. Uh, both you and Carl talked about speed, performance being an important design principle in the analytics, and I know your team has done some great work tuning our reporting infrastructure. It'd be great to share an update there as well. Yep. 
So as Carl said, FAST is one of the key tenants of uh, Plex Insight and IntelliPlex. We've worked very hard to make sure the architecture was built for performance. I'm sure some of, some of you are familiar with the cost of goods sold report, right? Now, I don't want to say that report is slow, but I bet Dolly Parton could get all her makeup off before that thing finished running. <laughs> oh, come on, we're in Nashville and you're all Dolly Parton fans all of a sudden. <laughs> so we've been using the cost of goods sold as kind of a barometer as we built out the new, the new structure. We ran the cost of goods sold for one of our biggest customers who has more cost data than anyone else as a, just kind of a test. And we ran that for the month of May. And we ran that in production. And what do you think happened? It timed, timed out. What? <laughs> Any customers out here trying to make me look bad up here? So it timed out. And um, we, you know, OK, so. We better run this in the development environment so we can see how long it actually takes to run and run it to completion. We ran that cost of goods sold report for that customer and it took 21 minutes. We took that exact same report and ran it in the new IntelliPlex um, architecture and it ran in three seconds. Um, not only that, we've really architected the product so that as you increase the time dimension, it doesn't necessarily increase how long it takes the uh, to run the report. We took that same customer and that same data and we did a trend for cost of goods sold by month for the entire time that that customer has been part of Plex, which is almost 10 years, and it still ran in under five seconds. Thanks, Jerry. Dolly Parton to explain <laughs> analytics. <laughs> Only in Nashville. <laughs> so very exciting stuff. Uh, I know after hearing everything from you guys, the customers are definitely going to want to get their hands on the new analytics product. Uh, I assume we'll have breakout sections, demos in the experience labs? Yes, we will. We definitely will. And uh, even more than that, uh, the new IntelliPlex platform um, limited availability program starts today uh, and general availability later this summer. And in addition, um, we'll be providing the prepackaged analytics, including the self-service reporting tool in the fall, starting with financials and then moving on to sales and then supply chain, and then we'll be moving on from there. Awesome. Thank you, Jerry. Great job. So, Carl, I know you have another uh, product under the Plex Insight umbrella that you want to share with us this morning, Plex Machine Performance. So, take it away. Yes, sir. Well, you know, in between writing jokes, you can <laughs> see that Jerry's put in a lot of time and effort into IntelliPlex, but we continually look at ways to improve productivity on the shop floor. And so this morning, we're announcing Plex Machine Performance, powered by ShopLogix, and this is available right now. Now, factory equipment produces data. In fact, it produces a lot of data. And we like to refer to this as data in motion. And so to harness this continuous stream of, of data, we've leveraged advanced visualization to paint a clear picture. This is a, a true big data solution. Plex Machine Performance is a new set of real-time dashboards to track things like productivity and uptime for equipment that's on your shop floor. You'll be able to do time series analysis, You'll be able to do shift performance analysis, machine performance analysis. We will provide insight into what is happening on the factory floor. By tracking things like micro stoppages in production, we can help you uncover and understand the process, people, and equipment issues that contribute to lost productivity. And as we were researching this, there's a great story I want to share. Uh, we found a customer that was running Plex Machine Performance, and they were experiencing this concept called break creep. Right? Break creep around their lunch hours. Lunch hours were taking much longer than the hour that they expected. And their investigation eventually took them to the break room. And what they discovered, quite simply, was that they didn't have enough microwave ovens to handle all the people that needed to queue up and warm up their lunch during their lunch hour. So you can imagine they fixed this by just buying a few more microwave ovens. So with a few hundred dollars of investment, they actually returned thousands of dollars in increased productivity, and that's a real ROI. Yeah, absolutely. That is a, a fantastic story. And it's also great to see us using cool new technology to drive continuous improvement on the shop floor, partnering with ShopLogix as well uh, to, to deliver that. So, uh, Carl, in your overview of Plex Insight, our long-term vision, you also talked about some benchmarking capabilities being worked on in the Plex lab. And uh, Jerry, you're really driving that, so I think it'd be great if you could share, share with the team on that. Sure. So as an existing Plex customer, you're very aware of how Plex delivers change and innovation directly to you without you having to do the heavy lifting that's normally associated with managing enterprise software. But as a participant in the Plex manufacturing cloud, you're part of something bigger. 
You heard earlier, earlier Jason say that uh, Plex customers use nearly one trillion pounds of material making their products in the last year um, with a revenue of 25 billion. That's amazing. And you might be asking, how can I tap into that goodness and use it for me? So we have this new feature that we're working on called Benchmarks, which allows you to compare the metrics that you use to run your business against your industry as a whole in a nice executive type dashboard such as you see here. Benchmarking provides aggregated and an anonymized view of the data based on actual transactions in the Plex manufacturing cloud without any human uh, bias being interjected into the results. This is a great example of how we're helping customers move forward with data-driven decisions. And of course, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. This is the kind of thing that only happens on a true cloud platform like uh, Plex manufacturing cloud. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, so guys, Plex Insight looks great. Um, the benchmarks look really cool as well, Jerry. So uh, as I said, analytics is clearly a big focus for us with the goal of improving our customers' manufacturing intelligence. And I think these new analytic products really are going to give you better uh, insight to focus on everything from continuous improvement in your operations to making more uh, informed data-driven decisions. So 